So welcome to your crypto class. I'm Susie and I've got Joe on the line. He's a creator of indicators. We're going to show you a simple way how to use indicators to maximize your trades and simplify your trading process. So we'll also go over today the news, overall market, hot movers in the basket. We're going to look at the crypto screener and review it, look at some indicators. And most importantly, we're going to do question and answer with you. So first on the news today, we have Crypto Community sets Cardano price projection for July 31st, 2022 by Jordan Major on Finbull.com. The coin market cap community has estimated that ADA, which is Cardano token, would trade at an average price of 88 cents by the end of July 31st, 2022. According to the price estimates feature, which allows users to speculate on the future pricing of cryptocurrencies. The community projects the price of decentralized finance, DeFi, July 31st will rise by a whopping 95% by the 31st of July from its present value at the time of publishing. At present time, 20,482 community members have voted to arrive at the average estimate. In terms of estimates for the end of the following month, August, the community expects the price to be slightly lower at 80 cents with 11,592 user votes. The current price of Cardano is trading at 45 cents, down 3.85% on the day and a further 8.313% across previous week. The entire market capitalization of our Cardano is now 15.2 billion. Cardano has started the final preparations for the Vasil hard fork update after a successful launch on testnet. The Vasil hard fork may have an effect on the price of Cardano by the end of the month, as historically, the assets has rallied before a hard fork event. Indeed, Cardano... I am so sorry for those noises, guys. The entire market capitalization for Cardano is 15.12 billion. Cardano has started a final preparations for the Vasil hard fork update as a successful launch on testnet. The Vasil hard fork may have an effect on the price of Cardano by the end of the month, as historically the asset has rallied before the hard fork event. Indeed, Charles Hoskinson, the Cardano founder, labeled the Vasil hard fork as Cardano's biggest upgrade to the network and stated that the stakes have never been higher. Disclaimer, the content on the site should not be considered investment advice. Investing is speculative when investing your capital is at risk. Next we have, Bitcoin may face another correction despite stable fundamentals, written by Dalma on coinpedia.com. For the first time, Bitcoin has fallen below its 200 week moving average, WMA, on a short, long-term price basis. This means that the cryptocurrency king may be trading close to another generational bottom, according to Elmandra. However, despite the severe blow to the industry causing, caused by the failure of prominent firms like Terra, Celsius, and Three Arrows Capital, Bitcoin's core fundamentals, network security, network utilization, and holder behavior appears to be stable. Is the Bitcoin bottom near the Puel multiple for Bitcoin, a crucial statistic linked to miners, has fallen to its lowest point in three years, since the value of the freshly created coins is relatively low compared to average quantities, this would suggest that Bitcoin is lightly bottoming out. On the biggest spot markers, markets, Bitcoin is presently trading at 19,600 after rising about 2.9% in the previous months. And now this article about stable coins. Stable coins becoming attractive to Argentines after economy minister quits by Bitcoinist.com. As a result of the departure of Argentina's economy minister in the face of a continuing economic calamity, Argentines ramped up their purchases of stablecoins throughout the weekend as they normally do. The cost of purchasing Tether stablecoin USDT using Argentine's pesos increased significantly after the resignation of economy minister Martin Guzman on Saturday. 
The peso fell roughly 15% following the resignation relative to the stablecoins DAI and Tether on a number of the most prominent local trading forms. The stablecoins are tethered to the US dollar, making them less susceptible to price volatility. Argentina, a former economic powerhouse and one of the largest nations in South America, has not been in the finest position in the last few years. The country was formerly ranked as the 10th richest in terms of per capita in the world. The year, years of mistrust in the banking system, rising inflation, and restrictions on the number of pesos that may be transferred into more stable currencies like the US dollar have increasingly forced Argentines into cryptocurrency. In May, though Argentines' inflation rate surpassed 60%, Simultaneously, diesel fuel shortages and pressure from political opponents forced Guzman to step down. Meanwhile, efforts are being made to broaden the accessibility of cryptocurrencies, in part through investment instruments that serve as a bridge between traditional and virtual currencies. Debit cards for cryptocurrency transactions are now available from three Argentine startups a Patagonian village where 40% of business accepts Bitcoin gave birth to one of these startups, Lemon. So I thought those news articles were pretty interesting, especially that one in Argentina where 40% of the town is accepting Bitcoin and the other one that saying that Bitcoin may have hit a bottom. So I hope you guys enjoyed those. So we're going to go over the overall market. We're going to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum too. So on coinmarketcap.com, you can always look at this second number on the upper left-hand area. And that is the overall total cryptocurrency market cap. So we're currently at $876 billion. And you're looking at a seven-day chart. So if you look below that number to the left, I've clicked on the 7D, which stands for seven-day. So you can see how much it fluctuated in the last week. And um, it went higher and went lower. So it's still moving. The beautiful part about crypto is it's always moving. Now we have the one week performance and market cap block size. This is for my visual learners. And this you can find on coin360.com. And Bitcoin is still at a dominance level at 41%. Notice that the block sizes represent the market cap meaning how much money is invested in each particular asset. So Bitcoin is going at 19,000. It's down 6.61% for the week. Ethereum is down 9% and it's at 1,083. The colors stand for the dark red means it's it, the price went down three steps and the light red means it just went down one step. When you see the different shades of green, which is not a lot, but the different shades of green mean the price went up. So at this point, it's a waiting game for these coins to hit the floor before we get back in and enjoy the ride back up. So if we are going to review the indicators now, and if you haven't subscribed to them, you can go to cryptomastery.online. I do recommend you do www. in front of that, and that way you can subscribe to the above URL to get the indicators that we're going to look at. So this is Bitcoin using the radar indicator, and it turns four charts into one. So right now you can see on the lower right-hand corner, that's the radar. The 240 stands for 240 minutes, so that is a four-hour uh, average performance chart uh, and uh, analysis. And so you can see that right now Bitcoin is going down for the four-hour average. But on the one day, it's moved up. The one week, it's moving up. And the, for the one month average, is going down. And here is Bitcoin USD one week chart with crypto mastery indicators. We have the early reversal on the top. And it's showing that it is still. And we also, on the early reversal, we have the arrow that on the left-hand side, upper right, which shows that the mathematical configurations that are embedded into this indicator are saying that the coin is most likely going to go down as you can see and then it did and this is a one week chart so each one of these candlesticks represents one week and then those three lines are the keltner bands and those represent averages 
So you can see the beautiful part about this early reversal indicator is that you can see that these the coin value of Bitcoin is way below the normal lower band, which means that it is on super sale. I wouldn't get it yet. Well, personally, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not financial advice, but it is still falling. And so that's excited for people that like to get in low and sell high because it's hopefully getting close to that point eventually soon. So the next indicator is the trend. And then you have, and that is still showing that Bitcoin is moving down. The trend strength indicator is still showing the down arrow. So you know that is still in the downward movement movement cycle. And the signal line is red. And you can see that it's still a distance away from the gold line. So that is still in the move down position. And the volatility index, my favorite indicator, that is in the red zone, which means oversold and if you look on the lower right hand corner bitcoin is at a 4.56 volatility index for a one week average super exciting guys so if you just hang tight have all eyes on deck and just wait until we see the upswing i think you're going to be happy in the future so now we have Ethereum with the radar indicator. So Ethereum's at 1,084 here. It's showing that for the four hour average, it's going down. Ethereum's going up for the one day average. For the one week average, Ethereum's going up. In the one month, it is going down. And you can customize your timeframes on the left hand side, clicking on that radar. And here is Ethereum with the crypto mastery indicators on a one week performance chart basis. So you have the early reversal in the upper right hand corner, just like Bitcoin, it showed that it was going down back in May and it did. And then you have the trend and the trend line for Ethereum is still moving downward. We have the trend strength indicator still with the red arrows, signal line is still red with gold and the red line separated. So it means it's not going to change at this moment, it is, it's still moving downward. And the volatility index is at 6.01, a little higher than Bitcoin, but still a very exciting place for someone that's just waiting to get back in. And the basket we have generated for you guys is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Cosmos, Algorand, Harmony, Phantom, and Solana. And most of these can be found on Coinbase. So for the hot movers in the basket, I filtered out in our watch list beyond those little list of coins I just showed you. And what is currently up for the moment is CRV, LDO, Dream, Matic, and G Gold. We don't have huge marks moving up, but CRV is up for 4.37%, LDO at 2.41%. And on your watch list coins, you can organize your watch list by the percentage of the change, the amount of change in price, the last price, the symbol name, and you can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell. And these coins are up for the day, but I always look for the coins on the floor to be ready to buy my next low buy. So we're gonna look at the crypto screener. So currently today, I filtered this screener for you just a minute ago for Coinbase. And then I decided to show you what was up for strong buy. So they have PAX, BTRST, BAT, UNFI. And those are the only ones for the strong buy. Again, this is not financial advice. And this is something that TradingView is telling us is they're coming up with strong buy um, recommendations. But it's do not take this as financial advice and make sure that you look deep down into your charts to make sure that it is correct for you to purchase these with your unique risk assessment. All right, so here's a little bit of knowledge about the crypto screener you can sort by exchange name. So earlier I said I had sorted that list with Coinbase. So you click on the right-hand side filters <clears throat> and you go to exchange and then you put the arrow down. You could select what exchange that you actually have your money in. And then you can color code your watch list flag so you can organize your crypto screener 
to just pull your specific watch list. And that's the orange flag that I selected and changed all my watch list to orange. And then I clicked where it says ticker 13 matches. I changed that to orange. You can also change this to many time frames. This one is set for one week. And then the moving average ratings. Again, I use this technology find, to find clues. These indicators come with trading view and are not what I use to decide to make a trade. So let's just discuss a little bit about what these acronyms stand for on these charts. So you can sort by moving average rating and then you can sort by last, that means last price, or you can sort by the SMA 20 stands for simple moving average 20 days, the SMA 50 is 50 days, SMA 200 stands for simple moving average 200 days, and the S and the B stand for strong sell or, or just a sell and a buy or a strong buy. So again, we're going to review the indicators and you can get them or subscribe to them by going to www cryptomastery.online. So here are the indicators. We have volatility index oversold conditions, early reversal indicator, dynamic ATR, trend indicator, trend strength indicator, radar screener, and signal line. So the radar is used to organize your watch list. It confirms trade progression. It shows four different chart times. It can be applied to multiple indicators allows you to see four plus time frame trend directions on one chart. The radar 1.0 turns four charts into one. So on that spoke on the upper left hand corner, you can customize your time frames. There's four time frames on this one, 60 minutes, four hours, one day, and one week. And you can change times to closely monitor the price before buying or selling. So to customize, like I said earlier, when you tap on that spoke, this pop-up comes up and it says time frame one, time frame two, time frame three, and time frame four, and there's drop down boxes. So you can choose whatever time frame time frame is appropriate for what you're doing. If you're doing long-term trading, you may want to have a one month or longer time frame. If you're doing trading within just 15 to 20 minutes to an hour when you're sitting down, then you would want that to be clearly in the minutes. If you're trading for the week, then you may want to have more of like a week, maybe four hours, one hour in a day. So the trend indicator, the trend indicator is used to set alerts. So step one, the key will pop up to indicate there's a great chance that an upward trend is coming. So stay alert and get ready. Step two, the bell indicator pops up. It confirms the trend direction. This means the upward direction is strong. You may want to take action. Step three, numbers one through seven, it confirms the trend direction with these numerical numbers. The one is the beginning of the first bar from which all buy conditions are met. And then number two to seven, it's the total number count of the present cycle. If buy conditions criteria are still met, the number count will then restart from the bell. So here's an example of the trend indicator. You have the key that comes in, saying there's a key opportunity. The bell, I mean there's a bell alert. And then one through seven confirms the trend. And you can see that the, the baseline underneath these indicators is all green, showing that the trend direction is still moving upward. You'll also notice that when it says one, two, three, four dollar sign, that really stands for a five, but you can change these numbers into emojis or, or or other numbers however you want you could customize them but the dollar sign is in there to remind you that you need to take profit often and then you have the six and then you have the do <clears throat> the dollar bag and again the dollar bag is there to remind you take profit often but it also stands for a number seven then you have the volatility index it's my favorite it shows overbought or oversold conditions and it's used with shorter time frames. So the volatility index is the one that says when you buy low, you make money, is what I think. It's a great one to have to really know when you're getting at the rock bottom prices. Signal line, it shows trend direction confirmation when the green linear average crosses the red. 
So the line goes red or the line goes green, depending on what direction the market's going in. TSI, Trend Strength Indicator. It shows early trend reversal when the green plots start and shows early reversal when red plots start. ERI, Early Reversal Indicator. The green arrow up means the conditions for a soon upward trend are present. Red arrow down means the conditions for a soon downward trend are present. So here's an example. You have early reversal indicator on the upper right-hand corner. You have the red arrow going down. And what happened, you can see that the market went down. The trend indicator, the trend line turned red. The bell came in, but the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven did not pop up. Therefore, line turns from green to red. It's going down. Then you have the trend strength indicator. When the market is moving upward, you have green arrows, and you can see on the right-hand side, it, this trend strength indicator was simultaneously reflecting the other upper air, um, upper indicators. Again, it went down when you see like early reversal went down, trend went down, and trend strength went down. The signal line that came in a little later, and the red dot comes in, and then the line goes red. So when the signal line is moving upward, a green dot comes in and the line goes up. And then you have volatility index. So when it's in the middle area, it's between the numbers of 80 and 20. But when it's in the down red zone, that's the numbers are 20 to 0, which in a minute we'll show you why those numbers are significant because you can set alerts. And when the volatility index gets down in the red oversold zone, that's when you want to be focusing on that particular asset if it's something that you believe in because it doesn't stay long in that zone typically and it'll usually go back up. So it's a good, good, good place if you're in the buying mode to focus on the volatility index. So the volatility indicator, it measures how far the coin stretches away from its mean price. So I take profits when it's in the green and take note of the numbers and descriptions on the right hand side when I have that arrow pointing to 80. So the thicker green line is the 80, the thin, the upper, upper green line is the 100. So when you see a coin that's in the 80 to 100, you know that it could be hitting the ceiling and that don't expect it to go too much farther upward. But when it's down in the 20 below zone, that's where I buy. So, and when it's in the gray area, mm, that's what we call let the cake bake. We don't know which way it's going to go. As you can see in those past history performance, um, it can go up, it could go down. It's in the I don't know zone. It's it's doing its magic, but it's it's not one of those major highs or major lows. So we're going to review the indicators now, or if you want to get them, you can just subscribe to CryptoMastery.online, and we're going to look at the indicators live. And this is the time when you can ask your questions. So we look forward to you guys asking your questions. And this is the screener here. And Joe is on the line. Here's our crypto class watch list. And let's see if you guys have any questions. Nothing so far. Oh, well, let's just look over some coins and we'll see what we can find. Joe, hello, how hello, are Susie. you today? <laughs> Doing well. <laughs> you know, um, what I wanted to do was, is in, and this would be for anyone new that's uh, following along, kind of like what we did last week, uh, just to organize things here with the uh, watch list. So um, if you can um, create a new watch list and uh, add all the uh, coins in the Coinbase uh, brokerage. Oh, I, I did that um, last week. Is that okay? Or, or you want me to do another one? Well, I just wanted to do, if we can just do it, it only takes a couple minutes. So yeah, any, anyone's new yeah. that's following along, this is the first thing that you want to do um, when you get the program is you want to create a watch list with the brokerage that you're with. And uh, then you want to utilize the radar so that you can um, 
be able to um, see what type of opportunities uh, present themselves. So um, before you do that, today, if you can just um, re uh, hide the other indicators except one radar. Here we go. Perfect. Should we okay. tell them what okay. we did? So we, we click on watch list and we do create a new list. And then I type the name in there and I click save. And then the watch list came here. Perfect. And let's say we wanted to rename it. Then you could, oops. Well, you could, you could rename it if you wanted to. Okay. So then Joe wanted only Coinbase. So you would go to, when you go to add, you press the press symbol here on crypto and it typically will default to all sources. So I clicked on all sources and then I typed in Coinbase and then there's Coinbase. You want me to put, add them all, Joe? Uh, yes, if you could. And uh, this right here um, is really how you use the radar because what we're going to be looking for is which uh, coins are trending on the daily and weekly. So we're looking for the green. And uh, this is something that we can do within a, a few minutes. We can sort through over 100 coins and then we can kind of get to the meat and potatoes because there's a, a few things that I can see that uh, the ERI is printing and um we're coming into a new month there's a big report out friday uh there's also another feds meeting this month on interest rates so i think that uh, we're going to see uh the market start to become more volatile perfect all right Okay, so uh, what we're looking for, Susie, is is we're looking for that daily and that weekly to be to both be green. Oh, it just literally so, happened as you said that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and that's um on the radar, right? Um, if you can go to the settings, we just want to just change it so that it's, it, it's a sixty minute, two forty, just so that we get the uh, lower time frames. Because the monthly one, um, you know, that uh, may not be as accurate as the others. So when you first get your radar, these are the default uh, time frames that comes with it. Perfect. There you go. So if we're if we're green on the daily and green on the weekly market green, Susie. Um, if you can add another sub column subsection to that 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 can be uh just uh green and the other one can be red and then that way there we know we have the daily and weekly for the green perfect so if the daily and the weekly are green let's mark it green and keep it there if not uh let's um move it to the red column And this is really good because this really shows you what's moving and allows you to focus on what's important. And what's important is trends. That's how, that's the name of this game. You, you buy low, you sell high. You know, it's not important to hit home runs. You can hit singles all day, but just get on base. Wow, so many things are, 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 wow. It's like the world woke up today. Yeah, well, well you know, wow. each time we come into a, a new month, uh, the market 
is, is, is recycling. You, you're getting um, new money put to work. You're getting profits that are being taken. And these are these are just clues that uh, when you're utilizing the technology and have the technology that you can use to your advantage versus your competitor. Because, you know, this is a zero-sum game. You know, when you lose a trade, somebody wins a trade. So it really becomes a game of education at some point. Maybe I should change these to red really quick. These are all red. And this is what well, I do like every this morning. This is the British Pardon? pound. So because we did all the coins, which is fine. We have international people here. Oh. Yeah, well, if it's on Coinbase, you can probably trade it. Okay. Are you able to check the questions box while I'm doing this, Joe, to see if there's any questions? So what I'm looking at, guys, is the one day on the one week. Wow, this is amazing how many things are just. And you see, by, by doing this, you become organized. And being organized is really, you know, a step in the right direction to having success. And uh, this is something that I do every morning. And it just takes me a few minutes. But it's something in there when I get my tea. Because I'm not really a coffee drinker. I'm a green, a green tea drinker. <laughs> so, so I get my green tea. And by the time I'm done my tea, I, I go to the Binance US. I go to the Coinbase. And then I go to the Gemini. And um, I reorganize things. And once I reorganize, um, I set my alerts. And uh, I just focus in on what's the main opportunity for the day. Mm. Very interesting. And, you know, as you're going through this, you know, it's like, um, you know, what an eye-opener this is. So this is yeah, a I great way to start the day um, when you start trading every day. All right, guys, I was testing the market earlier to see I was doing multiple different kinds of things just to test to see what was going on. Wow, a lot in the green today, too. Well, for the one day average, yeah. Oh, yep, that one was even better. All right, so. Oh, well, it's about time as well. I mean, we've been, you know, the market has been so suppressed in here. Exciting. All right, so I'm just going to change all of these. Wow. All right. So, make, okay, so I'm just going to move all of now. Wow. So for anyone that's been following along, we just sorted over 100 coins within a few minutes. And then now we're able to determine which are the best ones, or the best coins that maybe be can, can be a potential oper new, next new opportunity for us. And Susie, you really did that really quick. <laughs> Felt like it took me forever. All right, so now we can change this way. All right, so now should I put the other indicators on? Yes, yes. 
and uh, let's change the chart to a daily. All right. Perfect. And uh, what we want to do is, is uh, add the uh, the radar. Let me pull it down. So to move down, you go move down to existing pane. And you like the one hour, four hour day in a week, right? Yeah, that's fine. Wow, all green. Do you see guys how we found that? That's amazing. Yeah. So um, now let's take a look at in here some of the coins that are, you know, that we have in here on our green side. Um, and take a look in here uh, what's maybe moving at moment. So, um, Susie, if you can make the chart a little bit more tighter, and if you can move the uh, watch just a little bit more to the right, so we got a little bit more screen. Yeah, perfect. Um, and, and just move it to so we can see the symbol now. Like like make it bigger like that so you can see that? Uh, well, no, just the, uh, the symbol on the watch list. Oh, okay, make the watch list a little bigger. Yeah, just so we can see the symbol. Okay, okay. Like that, meaning like both. Yeah, that's good right there. Is the writing? Okay. Okay. So um on on this example in here, you know, if you notice, Susie, uh take a look at the ERI. And that's something in there that uh took place uh I believe it was uh maybe over the weekend. And uh, that right there is uh, one of the trades that, that, that is just spot on. So um, as we go through in here, these different coins, which um, are um, possibly changing trend direction, we'll look for the clues um, that we may see with the technology um, that may have positioned us accordingly to these moves. So on this example, we can see in here that the... Um, the signal line in the TSI turned up early, and we had the bell count. It looks like it came in like uh, about last week, but the market really didn't uh, start to go higher until we got the ERI print. So um, this right here um, just started to get moving. Um, this could be on its way to a recovery, which is CR a CRV. Okay, so. Uh, and then this one here is all green. So that's really nice. So this is on its way. This is what we like to see. Joe, we have a request. So Ian said, can you take a look at Cardano and use it as an example of how you would use the tool to analyze the market? Okay. Um, is, ABA, is, there... is it in our list? Did it make the list? It didn't make the list. So you want to just quickly throw it in there and okay. look at it for you? Well, I mean, if it's on the red list, let's just go down to the red list. You know, I mean, okay. you know, and we'll take right, a so look what at we'll do is it. Organize by symbol, and here's ADA. It's on the red list just because the one week was down. But okay. look, the early reversal came in. Yeah, um, I would say right here, um, you know, what you don't, I, I can tell you what you don't have. What you don't have is the weekly, okay? So the thing is, is that you can have all the makings in here for, um, you know, all the clues for the market to go up, but you really need that weekly to really give you, the, um, you know, um, to maybe make the trade a little bit more affirmative. And sometimes the markets get like this and then they consolidate. You know, and, and it doesn't mean that it has to go any lower. It doesn't mean that it has to go any higher. It just may just go into a sideways range. So um, what you don't have is you don't have the weekly on the radar. So um, that's something that you need. Um, what you do have is um, you do have that ERI print. So the thing is, is that uh, what you need to do is you need to kind of look at how things take place over the next couple of days and how this market trades to see if maybe towards the end of the week it can maybe possibly have a higher close 
because we really need to see that weekly start to go green to actually say, okay, well, this thing is on its way. And you can see it tried. It tried last week, Susie. Like if you look at the 25th, the uh, yeah. volatility index started to come up. Yeah, right here, guys. You know? We had all and, signs and, saying yes. Yeah. And, and this is a market I'm stuck in right now. Like, I'm stuck in this thing. And um, so the thing is, is that uh, set your alerts and um, look in here for, you know, possibly in here, uh, maybe once we get in towards the end of the week, maybe we can get uh, a higher close on the weekly. And um, we'll see how this uh, how this uh, looks next week. But for this week, you know, uh, we have to pass on it. It didn't make the uh, qualification. You know, with that, and, that uh, fundamental and, article. Well, maybe you know, and also too, it's, this can change. Like you know, it doesn't mean that that uh, everything's not positioned for it to go higher. It just it just looks that there's no momentum in the marketplace right now if there's momentum we'd see it um on the radar you know like when we looked at the other examples and it was all green you know so um you just have to let the cake bake on this one and it's still in the volatility index of oversold it's at a 13 on a one day basis let's see where it's at on a one week yeah, on a one week basis is at a 2.74 volatility so it's super super low but oh, it yeah, has it, a it's it's there on one. yeah I, I mean susie it's like we talked about you can't force these things to happen you know as much as i wish this market would be back up you know um at least back up to uh i mean i love it if it was you know if it was at least back up to 80. But um, but right now the only thing I can do is just, just kind of sit back and twiddle my thumbs and let the market come to me. Let the technology yeah. tell me when. Yeah, exactly. Ian, did that answer your question? Was that helpful for you? Let's see. He hasn't responded yet, but I'll let you know when he does. All right, so should go back to the list. Yes. Okay, so back on the list in here, uh, where are we at here? Uh, Adam. Do you want to look at Adam? Okay, well, here's Curve or CRB. Okay, Adam. and yeah, the Adam. And again, look, the daily and weekly, right? And the ERI. So the ERI is, is a major clue because as we go through in here, the charts that are moving or starting to trend up higher, we're going to notice in here um, we're getting the follow through from the ERI, and we're seeing the follow through with the, with the radar with the daily and the weekly. You know, so that looks like it just started to move. Like, and, and initially, when the, each time I see on average, when you see that ERI come in, it's really it's good for make maybe ten percent from where it's at. And and sometimes there's more, you know. Um, I you know when I do trades, I don't expect oh, I'm going to do this trade and get fifty percent or eighty percent. You know that can be a surprise. I'm just interested in playing the game, um, coming in on the setups, being a good trader, and uh, and taking what the market gives me. Yeah. So you have the trend strength indicator, the signal line, the volatility index on a one. Um, day basis is at 43 and mm -hmm. look Joe like from when the ERI came in till here it went up 23% in four days yeah yeah that's a great that you know that's the beginning of something great right there you know and I'm in Adam too and um, that's one of the ones that gives you a nice uh, interest so I'm glad that that's moving Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. API3. Now, this one here actually is a little bit different than the other ones because, you know, it kept trending up higher, you know, right when we got right there, right there, Susie, when we got out of that, uh, the next, right out of the uh, trend, trending out, right as soon as we got the signal line across in the TSI.
So, Are you saying like right here, so it stopped? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, like when you see the number stop, yeah. right, that means that, you know, and you see how the ERI came in. Sometimes, and that's why the ERI, is, it's early, right? Um, in this case, you know, you could have took it to the bell, from the bell entry to the ERI, and and this is one of them cases where the markets just keep going up higher. So at, at this point right now, it's on, uh, it's trending up higher right now. It went at 49% in 11 days. So that's yeah. 11 days. So let's say like if you would have just not paid attention, 91% in 20 days. Yeah. That's up a lot. And, and, and you know, Susie, what happens is, right? Check this out. You know, you, know, you, you come into this business and... If you don't know, you get caught up in these other coins. If you don't have the technology, you get caught up in what you're, what the, somebody might tell you or your friend may tell you or some article you read on the Internet. And then you may get caught up thinking, well, there's no opportunity out here. No, there's, there's opportunity if you have technology. You know? It, um, and, and if you notice, the rules that we've been going over, they're repetitive. You know, we don't change it, um, but we become better at the game, you know? Like, let this education empower you the time that we're spending here with you so that you can spend, see and use the value of the tools. Because at some point, we may not be here. I mean, anything yeah. can happen, you yeah. know? And, you know, I just aspire for everyone that's been following along that you learned enough in there so that now you'll be able to fish and be able to, you know, fish for yourself and be able to eat. So this right here is a, a great opportunity. We got the daily and weekly. Um, let's keep going, Susie. Uh, we're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to skip this one. This is just um, stable coins. It just happens to be on Coinbase. So that's always going to be a dollar, guys. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Joe. Okay, okay. Well, right here again, um, another ERI print in here and it looks like that first initial move was maybe 10 percent let me see let's see and you know here's another example Susie where we got the bell alert last week because I remember talking about these pairs and then the market consolidated and then boom you know it takes this next leg up higher that's pretty exciting Wow, look at look at how this came in back here. So this is I love it how the signal line keeps growing and then the the TSI is very sensitive to any any opposite force coming down on it and it gives it gives you like almost a warning. But even though it wasn't strong enough, that force wasn't strong enough to break the signal line. Yeah, well, you got to remember, like, this one here is a pair, so it's a little bit of a tug of war going on in there. Yeah. Um, you know, the main important thing is that the signals are time sensitive. So, you know, you can you can set your alerts for that ERI. You know, if, if, if maybe, you know, that might be something in there um, that can be um, helpful if you're not, if you're missing traits. Because I know what it's like to miss traits. You know, it, it wasn't, I, I didn't start off this way and I'm still not the best, the best trader. Or I don't think I'm as good as I'd want to be, you know, um, I, you know, I make the cut. I think that's about it. <laughs> I know you do fine and dandy. You're a great trader. You're uh, all right. Let's uh, take a look at another coin here. All right. So this is Euro buying Bitcoin. Oh yeah. Well, this one here is a little bit. Um, yeah, it, we can just keep. Uh, just skip over that coin. Yeah, right, that, USD buying. Oh, oh look at this one. Yeah. So this could be something in here, which is, um, you know, uh, we just got the ERI yesterday, and uh, today's the second day. You know, so it's a little bit tough um, because it's the second day from the ERI. Um, Right now, there's room for this thing to go, right? Um, you can see in there from the, the volatility index, 
And uh, if you look at the TSI, you'll notice the TSI, um, the, the two stochastics are together, and it looks like it's just about to turn green. So what I would do is that I would set my alert for the TSI. And when we get the next turn on the TSI, which is the next green, that should mark the footprint for the next leg up in this market. So I'm putting notes in the alert name and then I'm going to paste them down here on the message because it's going to send me an email and I want to know exactly what I need to do. So that's just a note to myself. And then it comes up in the alert right here, but also it's set to email me. All right, so that one's set. Um, the next one is Bitcoin with British pound. So yeah, that's um. Well, these are the ones with the currency. I'm not. I don't really um. Uh, I don't really follow along with these too much, but that is an ERI in there. And if you make the chart uh, closer, Susie, tighter. There's room for it to go on the upside. So this right here is uh, something here to take a look at um, coming up uh, because we just got the first TSI and yesterday we had an ERI. So this right here um, is a is a great trait. You know, I'm just not really familiarized with um, Bitcoin versus pound. You know, so um, and it looks like the price of it is a little bit expensive. So, um, but right now, um, I'd probably pass on that because I'm just not familiar with the market. I'd, I'd rather do Bitcoin. So let's keep right, going. Let's go to them. Yep, here's AMP being purchased with USD. Yeah. So here you go. We had another ERI yesterday. And man, it looks like it just spiked up on that bar and then it just went sideways again. So, you know, what we're seeing is, is that a lot of these coins, um they may have reached their threshold um and it may not go we're not going to see any more lower lows but it may just start to consolidate in this channel especially when you see the volatility index all the way down like that it doesn't mean it has to keep putting in lows it, it just means that you know it doesn't have enough to to, to turn around so it's sideways yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then when it does turn, it could just be a, a really fast spike. So you got to also, you know, be ready to take profits because um, until we start to see the main Bitcoin turn around, a lot of these other coins, it's just going to be short lived because a majority of the whole crypto, uh, sixty at least seventy percent is driven by Bitcoin. So it's um, we just have to remember that. Um, when, when we can see the opportunity and we're in profits. Okay, uh, so let's keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we have Euro with Ethereum. I'll skip those ones and we'll go to um, American. USDC for Bitcoin. Okay, uh, well, this is the Bitcoin, and it's just like we were talking. Um, we had the uh, ERI, and the radar looks good. Um, you know, but uh, we just have to wait. You know, a, a lot of what's happening in this Bitcoin, uh, I believe, is being caused by the war. So I just think a lot of times, like, things may look perfect, but uh, until this war is over, it's going to be, um, uh, uh, you know, under pressure to exactly how far it's going to go. So with this one, the, the line is red, but these are green. What's yeah, yeah. the line to go green? Everything in there looks great, but at the same time, you know, uh, there's the also the other fundamental factors that that's weighing on the market. So everything can look yeah. great, but you know, um, it's the fundamental factors which is weighing on it. I, I think once we have some clarity uh, on what the Fed uh, will do next week with interest rates. Um, and also the ECB, what they will do with interest rates, which everyone's looking for another move, I think we'll start to see in there um, 
uh, maybe some follow through from these moves. But right now, I, I'm looking for increased volatility. You know, so if you're yeah. in the trade and you're in profits, take the profits. You know, because uh, increased volatility means is that it can be up there for a few hours and then in a few hours back down again. So you guys can click on the indicators, just double click and it'll make it big. All right, so let me just make this a little bigger so we can see what currency. Okay, that's Bitcoin with USDC. Here's Bitcoin Tether. So it's in the same situation. And here's Bitcoin USD. Very similar. Yeah. So maybe it's the floor they were talking about. This I can't get rid of. I don't know why it won't go away. So Phil looks like. Sorry, guys. I like to do paper trading, and 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 I like to go way overboard with it, and I can't get it to like go away on Phil. Skip Phil, <laughs> or you you can talk about it if you want. Just disregard that. So here is the early reversal indicator coming in, and then you have the TSI. It looks tight, Joe. Do you think that's gonna flip and go oh, upward? <laughs> You have another uh, one other market in here, which is because uh, we're I'm looking at the time. Um, a mana. Oh, a mana. Oh, absolutely. This is this is oh beautiful. Oh, maybe right. not, but it was. <laughs> so you know, I just wanted to point this out because this would be one in here um, where you would set your alert for the next TSI green. And uh, that should mark the footprint. I mean, right now we got the ERI yesterday. Everything looks good, but for that initial move, we need the uh, the TSI. So this would be one in here. Definitely set your alert. All right. So. It's one o'clock. We want to respect your time, and I appreciate you guys all being here. And Ian said that very good. Thanks, Joe, for your help with that Cardano analysis today. Do you have anything sure. you guys want to say before we leave, or Joe, do you have anything you want to tell the group? Um, well, a big report out Friday, and look for that weekly close on Sunday. Like it, it, you know, and that's what I'd be looking for for Cardano or any other coins in there. And uh, we got the Fed's meeting coming up. So, you know, um, you know, I expect increased volatility. And once we get past this Fed meeting, I think we'll have better times to come where we'll see the return of the bull. <laughs> nice. That's going to be exciting. All right. All right. All right. Good luck trading, everyone. Good luck. Thanks, guys, for coming. We'll see you next week.